May 9th, 2017, you signed off on the third FISA renewal application. Did you read that application? Yes. So you, having been asked to sign off on it, you had read it. Uh, were you aware of the multiple errors and omissions that were later discovered and disclosed by the Inspector General? No. Uh, were you aware that the information provided by Christopher Steele, commonly referred to as the Steele dossier, was the basis of the assertions in the FISA application? I, I believe, Senator, that um, some of the assertions in the application are from Steele, my understanding is, but only some. Were you aware of the fact that the, the Steele dossier, which you've just acknowledged, was at least the partial basis for this, was bought and paid for by the Democratic National Committee and shared with the Hillary Clinton campaign? I don't believe I had that detailed information at the time. Okay, so you, you, you're being asked to do something significant. You're asked as the Deputy Attorney General, the Acting Attorney General in this circumstance, to sign off on something. And yet you don't have a critical piece of information. That's a problem. Yes, sir. It seems to me. Uh, it's a problem, especially given that the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act can be used, can be manipulated, and in fact, has been abused and manipulated to, uh, so as to spy on a presidential campaign. A campaign uh, turned out to be for the man who became the 45th president of the United States. Were you aware that the application mischaracterized Christopher Steele's past work with the FBI uh, as a confidential human source and failed to include information from his source questioning his reliability? No, I was not aware of that. If you had known about these errors and omissions as of uh, June 29, 2017, would you have signed off on it? No. Why not? Senator, my understanding is that these FISA applications follow a, followed a very rigorous process and, uh, and that they were accurate, that they were verified. The whole principle of having an agent sign it under oath is that you can rely on the facts. And the